We're going to draw the Lewis structure of SNI4, which is tin four iodide. Now, I know what you're thinking. Tin is a metal and iodine is a non-metal, and therefore it's probably an ionic compound. But it turns out that they don't have different enough electronegativities for that to be the case. This molecule, ha, huh, I gave it away, is a molecular compound and they actually, the tin and the iodines actually share electrons. So we're gonna draw this Lewis structure the same way we would draw it for like carbon uh, tetraiodide or, or methane or something like that. Now, I'm going to have my tin, which is going to bring four valence electrons with it. And I'm specifically choosing four because I know it has to combine with that iodine or four of them. And each of the four iodines is bringing seven valence electrons. That makes 32 valence electrons that I'll have to deal with when I create this structure. Now, what I'm gonna do is put my SN in the center. I'm going to surround it by the four iodines. The way that I deal with electrons is to first create a single bond between my central atom and the outer atoms. That's two, four, six, eight, electrons that I've already dealt with. And then I'm going to complete the octet on the outer atoms. So I have eight electrons so far. This is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This iodine now has eight electrons around it, and so it's happy and stable. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. That's it. That's the total number of electrons that this structure brought with it, rearranged to form a molecule. This is the complete Lewis structure for tin four iodide, and it is a molecular structure, tetrahedral, if you know anything about Vesper shapes. And this is it. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.